Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and today I'm talking with Stuart Bryson. Stuart is an Oracle ace. He's a business intelligence specialist. He's the managing director of Ritman Mead America, and he's also the author of a new technical article on OTN, the title of which is Making the Move from Oracle Warehouse Builder to Oracle Data Integrator 12C. How are you doing today, Stuart? I'm doing great. Excited to talk about uh, the new release, the new functionality. It's been a long time coming, so... It's uh, it was it was an article I was happy to happy to write. Good. Well, what what can you tell me about the article that uh, that that very long title doesn't give away? <laughs> um, well, so uh, so you know, Oracle's had uh, for, for quite some time uh, a confusing, and I think they would admit that confusing uh, data integration strategy. Over the years, they've uh, updated the statement of direction to try to give customers uh, direction while they were trying to come up with sort of the superior technical product. And, uh, and so what, I'm, what, what I look at is I, I look at uh, Warehouse Builder and the new, the new features in ODI 12C that allow you to, to either A, get off of it completely, or B, just, just work with it in an integrated uh, role. Um, so, so Oracle's really done a great thing in this release in that they've, they've sort of produced different options for warehouse builder customers. So I walk through all those. Um, I also walk through just a just a standard installation or enterprise installation of ODI 12C. So I do think that there's a, even for non warehouse builder um, you know organizations I think there are some things to like about this article for them as well. So what would you say is the key takeaway? What uh, after somebody reads this article what's the one thing that's going to stick in their head? So if uh, if you if you read the blogs and you and you follow the documentation, you see there's a migration utility, and that's great. But uh, but if you have a very complex uh, warehouse builder implementation, um, it, no migration utility is going to be 100. percent It just never is with enterprise software. So I think the main takeaway here is that with a combination of of both migration functionality and uh, sort of integration functionality between the two products. Organizations can migrate at their at their leisure. Uh, they can migrate when it adds value. Um, if there are components in Warehouse Builder that have been running for five years and they're bulletproof, they've been QA'd, there's no reason to go and redevelop those necessarily. Just allow ODI to consume them and take over the execution of them. On the other hand, if you've got an active development um, uh, situation where you're constantly adding new value to to, to your your data integration strategy, and you want to move over to ODI, you can do that with the migration utility, and it's going to get you eighty to ninety percent there. I don't think Oracle Product Management uh, makes quite that that claim, but I'm just telling you from from you know going through some customer scenarios as well as R and D scenarios, it handles quite a bit. So I think there's a lot of options. That's the main takeaway. You're going to have a lot of options, and Oracle's really got your back this time. Uh, not, not to me. Um, they always do. But in this scenario, um, they're really taking care of their warehouse builder customers. Good to know. Good to know. You're, uh, along with your Ritman Me colleagues, you're a pretty prolific blogger. So, so what's your next blog post going to be about? <laughs> um, so, so for for folks that aren't really uh, deep down in the in the BI stack, I, I'm going to lose them when I tell them this. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at using Groovy, the 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 really cool uh, new uh, sort of Java 2.0 language, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna demonstrate how you can use Groovy to to manage your OBI EE. Uh, infrastructure using uh, JMX beans and, and um, using using Groovy instead of WebLogic scripting tool. So uh, that's going to be out in the next couple of days. So that's really exciting. Uh, I flip flop between ODI and OBI and even do a little Golden Gate now and then. So um, anything that's really BI related and it's under the red umbrella, um, I'm all over it. 
All right. Well, Stuart, thanks for taking time to talk to me today. Uh, for those of you watching at home, uh, if you look uh, right down there at the bottom, you'll see some information about the, the article, and we'll post a link to that article here in the video. And uh, if you read that article down at the very bottom in the footer, you'll see uh, in uh, Stuart's profile, there's links to his blog and Twitter accounts and some other social stuff, so you can Great. you can haunt him electronically. <laughs> All right. Talk about Twitter, I can respond or not respond. Right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, Stuart. Thanks, Bob. I really appreciate the time. I'm for the Oracle Technology Network. I'm Bob Rubart. Thanks for watching.